Hello, my name is Doug Lyon. I'm a media lecturer at Brighton University. Okay, why do you think women get plastic surgery? Well, we, I think we've created a, a model of something that isn't really naturally attainable. And I think, um, I do think women's self-esteem is linked more to feeling like they look good than blokes. So I think what's happened is we've just got the technology theoretically for that to be available so if you want to feel better about yourself and somebody can do something and you've got the money to do it I guess why would you not do that? Okay, um, would you get plastic surgery? If yes, what would you get and why? <laughs> um, I don't know, I don't know, would I ever do that? The, sh the short answer is I can't really imagine that ever happening because for me, and this is probably too deep an answer for you, I'm going to give you the deep answer anyway. I probably should just say I'll have my double chin tucked in, right? That would be the short, simple answer for you. But I think that self-esteem is something that is not something that is based on your looks in that way. I don't think it fixes it. So if you don't feel good in yourself, if you, you know, yeah, if you don't love yourself, you don't feel okay about yourself, no amount of tinkering around on the surface is going to make you feel better about yourself. You can see that in a million models and rich and famous celebrities is you can have the whole world saying to you, you are the prettiest girl in the world. If you don't feel it inside yourself, it doesn't mean anything. So I don't think it solves the issue. I think it messes with the symptoms and quite often ends up in a worst case situation, doesn't it really? Because you know, unless you've really got a lot of money and the best plastic surgeon on the planet who can do something that really looks great. You know, having a, having a pair of things stuck onto your front, I mean, that's not <laughs> going to make you look good, is it? Or make you feel better about yourself? I don't think so. Okay. Um, with beauty becoming a more important aspect in women's lives, how do you think this affects girls in the younger generation? Um... I think what's happened over the last 20 years is that awareness of sexuality or the sexualization of young people is earlier. It happens a lot earlier than it used to. And partly that's because of the internet and everybody's got everything now. And partly it's just popular culture and kind of saturation of imagery. Then when you look at 11, 12 year old girls now, they look like what? 16, 17, 18 year old girls look like 20 years ago in their awareness of kind of flirtiness or sexiness. I mean, I, I think that's quite new and I think it is a problem. I think it's a problem in the same way as I think it's a problem for a 12 year old lad to be watching hardcore pornography on their telephone in a playground at the age of 11 or 12 or 8 or whatever you know, people are doing now. I think we're meant to, you know, it's like if you look at nature, if you look at animals, things open up at certain stages of development, they're meant to do that. I'm going to have to cough really loud, <coughs> sorry. So if you speed things up, if you uh, pump things up or amplify it unnaturally, I don't think our bodies and brains are ready. Like, apparently, uh, your brain doesn't finish... The two sides of your brain doesn't finish meeting until you're 17. So the reason why parents go mad, because they say to you when you're 16, 15, 16, could you just tidy your room, please? And you go, yeah, 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 yeah. And then you walk out of the room and just chuck something on the floor. We just had that conversation. Why, why, why don't you get that? It's because that last bit of the brain's development is the bit where you develop empathy for something other than yourself. Before that, you're a selfish little brat. So then when you start to look at things like that and so you start looking at people looking at pornography too early, people becoming sexualized too early, people smoking loads of super skunk too early, it is affecting your development for the rest of your life. I do, I do think that, and I do think it's a bit of a problem. I don't think we know what to do about it. Is that okay. too deep? No, that's fine. <laughs> Um, and plastic surgery has become more of an acceptance and a normal procedure in our society. So would you judge people for changing the way they look? Not really, because I mean, I've, you know, I've messed around with my image a lot in my life and I, I 
you know, I was an 80s boy, so I, had, I wore eyeliner and makeup every day for five years. I used to do my nails, I used to do all that stuff. And um, the thing is, we all judge everybody by what they look like anyway. Everybody does. You can't not do it. You walk into a room, you walk into a lecture, your head does this, you go, hmm, and you've automatically sussed out who you fancy in the room first, who pisses you off in the room second or feels like a threat to you. Everybody else is categorised into a neutral category and then the people that you fancy or piss you off stand out. And then people who wear something that annoys you in some way or that you like in some way jump out at you. You can't not do it. Everybody does it. Okay, thank you. Is that the kind of shite you want? Yeah.